Hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure off. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. Quick update, we put our house on the market on Sunday, or Saturday night, we put our house on the market. And um, Sunday morning, somebody came and walked through the house a uh, young couple and um, came and walked through the house and they loved it and they made us a full price offer. So <laughs> things are moving much faster than we thought they were going to move um, and we're figuring everything out in the midst of Halloween and work and I've got a bunch of film projects that I'm in the middle of. Um, so we're, we're a lot of things that are on our mind is what are we going to do with all of our stuff? Um, where are we going to stay until we're actually ready to hit the road? Um, all of those sort of things. So exciting, but stressful. Um, and uh, Milo, uh, I mean Mario. What's up, Mario? What's on your face? All right, it's time to give the dog a wash. Guys, stand back. Stand back. Stand back. We're going to give this dog a wash. self-doubt, a lot of craziness going on in my mind, um, wondering if this is something that we can actually pull off. At this point, I'm really starting to think a lot about logistics, like I had a freak out moment yesterday where I started thinking about laundry, and I don't even do the laundry. <laughs> Katie does all the laundry, and just thinking about that day to day on the road in an RV, like finding a laundry mat, finding a place to do your laundry, making sure you have enough clean clothes before you're able to find the laundry mat, or I'll tell you right now, like it's 11.30 in the morning and this is what I still look like. I'm in my sweats um, and uh, working away, been, been sitting at my desk since like 7 a.m. Um, went to bed last night at 12 a.m. And uh, I mean, it's, it's awesome and, and it's exciting and, and all that kind of stuff. But man, I wonder, I wonder if everybody deals with this kind of self-doubt or this going back and forth. Not going back and forth, but just like, how are we going to do this? Be back soon. Love you, Charlie. So this morning, as part of our mission for this new phase of life, we are committing to doing um, part of our adventures are doing service as well and so this morning Addison's super excited because we're going to sort food at the food pantry right you look excited let's give me a yay, yay. <laughs> yeah they're they're excited so let's go all the food's gonna be sorted we won't have anything to do. It's
it's been really important to me to make service and, and contributing to our community a big part of our lives and it's just been difficult and we haven't made it a priority and so this is the perfect time to include it in our adventure mission and our adventure way of life um, and we're starting now we're not waiting until we're on the road but the idea is when we're on the road everywhere we stop or everywhere we stay is finding a service opportunity which will be awesome I'll be way excited about that right buddy Will you be excited about that? Yeah. What are we going to do? Um, help sort vegetables. Help sort vegetables? Mm -hmm. For who? You don't know? For people who need vegetables, right? Yeah. Or any other kind of food. Do we need jackets? So this is a pretty common scene in our family. Yeah. When we're going anywhere we're going, anytime we're going somewhere, we, all four of us are Sitting in the car waiting for who? Mom. <laughs> because mom gathers all the things that we actually need, right? We're thankful and for it once, uh, what, Kenya? Well, sometimes she just grabs little knickknacks. <laughs> she takes her knickknacks. Are you guys excited to go do this? Yeah. yeah. See, she has her makeup bag. There she it. is. Oh, look at all these things she has. She has her makeup bag with her. I can't be everything in this right now. <laughs> She's got lots of things. Dad, yes. Dad, Dad. Look at it. All right. The date is 2018 and beans. There you go. Good job, buddy. Awesome. Find the date, can you? No, we can't. More broth. More beans. Tomato, right? There's more beans. Yeah. More beans. More beans? Yeah. Put it right there. Look at all this food for people. This is awesome. Oh, it's so cute. And we're taking out the ones that are dented. Yeah. That's awesome. And put the, putting them in the code board. Yeah. I can go this in right. Yep. Good job. You like code board. Yep. What? Well, I can do the code board. Yep, you can throw the cardboard ones. Look how low these are. Yay. We were full when we got here. All right, friends, we're done. Mm -hmm. How many cans do you think we sorted? Um, about 500. 500. I bet, a yeah. Thousand. I bet we're close 50. to a thousand, if not over. 60. All those crates. 50 and 100. 50 and 100? Yeah. Milo, what was your favorite part? Um, uh, it's 150 when we first started. Oh, when we first started? Didn't, didn't you love throwing the cans in the dented pile? No? What'd you learn? Uh, that helping people is nice. Yeah? Sometimes you just gotta get going, right? Yeah. Like sometimes you don't wanna do this kind of stuff and then you just gotta get going and once you get going, it's fun. That's what I learned. It's like basketball. And I learned how many people this place feeds. <laughs> it's a lot of food. Did you hear what she was saying? She said it was like, did you hear what she said? How many tons of food they distribute every week? It was insane. She said they don't have near enough people to sort food because of all the food that they get distribute. Donated. Yeah, and get donated. So, cool. Dad, where's my hand? Oh, what do you want to say, Milo? Yeah, we should do another thing. My other favorite part was when I got to start on that was mostly on me. <laughs> <laughs> when you got the snot on everyone? 